Hey everybody, I'm Josh Consi and I'm here with the CEO and founder of Periscope, Kayvon. So you guys are releasing Periscope Producer today. Tell us, why did you guys want to build this? Well, when we started Periscope uh, about a year and a half ago, the only way you could broadcast was from a mobile device on iOS or Android. And we're still super stoked about that. I think the idea of being able to capture something that's happening in the world and broadcast it onto Periscope and onto Twitter is extremely important in the source of most of the content that we, that we see shared live in the world. But we think there's a really interesting other part of the spectrum of live content, which is broadcasts that aren't necessarily captured just from a mobile device. They may be coming from a, um, you know, a satellite truck. They may be coming from someone's software or hardware encoder in their living room or at some event like TechCrunch Disrupt. And we think that um, the magic of Periscope is the fact that you can really easily watch a live broadcast along with other people. And there's no reason you shouldn't have that experience with any type of live broadcast, even if it's not captured on a mobile device. So at its basic level, we want people to be able to broadcast any type of live content into Periscope. So if TechCrunch Disrupt is happening, just as it did a few weeks ago, and you want people on Periscope and on Twitter to watch it live and send comments and send hearts and, and have the shared experience together, you can now do that with Periscope Producer. Once you have access to Periscope Producer, you'll just go to your profile in Periscope, scroll down to the settings, and then go to Advanced Sources. In there, you'll be able to create another source, which is basically a link that you'll be streaming to from whatever device you want to stream from. And once you start streaming there, you'll see a preview button here, and you'll be able to see what that stream looks like right on your phone. So what are some of these the cool types of content that you expect people to uh, transmit other than maybe just the normal like conferences or stuff from their living room? I think what's amazing about it, about Periscope Producer is that the kind of spectrum of content that can be now injected into Periscope is super broad. So as you mentioned, conferences and events that have multiple camera inputs with HD cameras and you know audio mixing, that's one thing. We have brands using it. For example, Louis Vuitton during their summer fashion show last week, um, they broadcasted the actual fashion show on Periscope. So you had this highly produced, beautiful opening shot with models walking down a staircase and then onto the runway. But then you also have other broadcasters like me and you or, uh, or power users who put a lot of hard work into creating more professionally produced content that you can, than you can muster on just an iPhone. You showed us some of the more obvious things that you could do with Periscope Producer, but talk a little bit about games, virtual reality, you know, the future of streaming in its format. I think what's exciting about Periscope Producer is essentially what we've built is this is an API and a framework by which you can pipe any arbitrary video stream into Periscope and have it live as a Periscope and a tweet with live video. And that means that all kinds of other content can be unlocked as part of the Periscope experience. And one of the ones that we've seen a lot of interesting examples around are um, live VR broadcasts. Um, so one of our designers on our team, Tyler, his uh, Twitter handle is uh, tyhan1, T-H-T-Y-Han1. Uh, um, he, you know, he's been playing around with uh, augmented reality and virtual reality a, a bunch, and he's super excited by it. And he, for example, has this game that essentially lets you simulate being at the top of Mount Everest. And um, he's in his living room in a virtual reality environment, kind of playing with this with this Everest game. But he's broadcasting it through Periscope Producer onto Periscope and Twitter, so that we, on our iPhones or our Androids or Androids or on Twitter or wherever we are using Periscope and Twitter, we can watch him in a VR setting. So now, whether you're sharing something live from an iPhone or Android, or you're sharing something live from your VR headset, or if you're ABC News, or if you're Dancing with the Stars, or if you're Louis Vuitton, um, or if you're Fox and you want to rebroadcast something on Periscope for your social graph on Periscope and Twitter to see, all of that is now possible. Now, Periscope's parent company, Twitter, has been striking a whole bunch of live stream deals with the NFL. They uh, broadcast the debates as well. You know, tell me about how Periscope Producer ties into Twitter's larger video ambitions and how it affects the balance between you know, typical user-generated user content that anybody can shoot off the cuff and more professional stuff that you're seeing piped in more and more into Twitter. You know, one side of the spectrum, you have super premium content like Thursday Night Football and the NFL, or the presidential debates, um, things that already generate an, an incredible amount of tweet volume, right? Like, people are engaged with politics, people are engaged with sports on Twitter. When you're watching the Warriors game, when you're, when you're watching a football game, like, everyone goes to Twitter as the second screen. And the thesis from the, that the company has really been centered on over the last year has been, why should Twitter just be the second screen? Why not bring the first screen um, and the second screen together in a way that kind of um, makes the combination better than the sum of its parts and I think you saw that with the debates um, you know over the last couple weeks being able to see those amazing tweets and people's reactions and also have the actual debate stream.
game. So that's one side of the spectrum. On the other side of the spectrum, you have, as you said, UGC content. Josh and Kayvon are out, they see something happening, a celebration, a protest, um, or they're, you know, I'm running on the beach with my dog and I want my friends to, to, to watch. Like true UGC content that allows me with a press of a button to go live and have the world or my friends watch, we think is a really important superpower that we want to give everyone. There's no reason why you and I can't have our own TV stations. Before, it just wasn't, it wasn't possible. We hadn't kind of laid the foundation to do that. And with Periscope Producer, we're taking a really giant step towards allowing more of that spectrum to, to exist.